everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk. My name is John, and today here on the channel, we are going to be talking about Matilda, and it's brand new 4K Blu-ray that just came out from Sony Pictures. So Matilda was released on August 2nd, 1996. It is directed by Danny DeVito, based on the 1988 Raw Dahl novel of the same name. It stars Mara Wilson as the title character of Matilda. Her parents are played by Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman, real life husband and wife. And the two of them have two kids. One of them is a boy and the other one a young girl named Matilda who is much brighter, much smarter, and very different from her parents. Her parents are basically just the world's worst parents. Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda. Whatever. The mother goes to bingo every single day. That's all she contributes to the family. Danny DeVito's character is a used car salesman, a con man, just out there to rip people off. He's the reason why used car salesmen get a bad rep because this guy's out there gluing bumpers on the cars, turning the numbers back. And he's just a real scumbag. And Danny DeVito always plays these characters perfectly. You've seen it in movies like Twins. You've seen it on the show Taxi. You see it today on Always Sunny in Philadelphia as Frank Reynolds. Danny DeVito is a national treasure, though. I've been following this guy around since I was born. I absolutely love Danny DeVito. He is one of my favorite actors of all time. One of my favorite people of all time. He's just a great guy. And it's funny because he plays scumbags just so well. But yet, in real life, he just seems like the world's nicest person. Somebody you just want to hang out with. Someone who seems like he just genuinely cares. And he directed this movie. He's directed other movies in the past. I also really love the movie War of the Roses. So if you haven't checked that one out, I promise you it'll love that one. Very different from Matilda because Matilda is definitely a children's fantasy film and if you were a kid of the 90s you could not escape this movie i saw this movie easily a hundred times before the age of 18 but i had only seen it one other time before i got my hands on this 4k blu-ray since i turned 18 so it's one of those movies that's been ingrained in me from childhood but i haven't revisited it much as an adult and I can honestly say, this movie still holds up very, very well. It's still fun. Obviously, it's dripping with nostalgia for people like me. It's got that classic 90s score that you've probably heard over and over again. A lot of scores from the 1990s sound very similar to this movie. And that's probably why it didn't do too well at the box office. You know, it had a budget of about $35 million. It didn't even make that back. It only made $33 million at the box office. But it was a huge VHS success. Like I said, I had this in my VHS collection as a kid. My cousin Vanessa. I just absolutely love this movie. So every time I went to her house, we watched Matilda. Like, the Trunchable was just ingrained in my mind. One of the biggest 90s movie villains, if you were a kid of the 90s. Just this horrible principal. Like, once Matilda starts going to school, even though her parents didn't want her to go to school, just remember that this movie is a fantasy, so you have to really just take logic out of it. A lot of the stuff that's going on, how these parents of these kids aren't going to the school to, you know, check up on what's going on. Why is the principal of the school have a chokey, which is just a room with a bunch of nails that that she's locking the kids in. Even her sister, Miss Honey, played by the great Emma Davids, which I'm definitely pronouncing that name wrong, one of the sweetest teachers. And Miss Honey's aunt is, of course, the Trunchable. So, you know, this poor girl just had the worst childhood having to deal with her because her father passed away at such a young age, apparently. Which we they do hint at, the Trunchable might have been behind that, just to just drive it home that she is just the world's worst principal. She throws the young girl over the fence by her pigtails. I mean, just a horrible principal. I just don't know how no one has intervened against this woman and what she's doing at that school, but that's where the fantasy element comes in. Matilda also has telekinetic powers that she starts to realize as the movie is going on, and that's how she seeks her revenge on the Trunchable and everything that she's done to all the other students in the school, what she's done to Miss Honey, and it's just a very warm-hearted 90s movie, a movie that I actually just absolutely loved revisiting yesterday. I sat there with a smile on my face the entire time. You know, you get that classic cake eating scene where she makes the kid eat the entire chocolate cake in front of the school and the whole time I'm thinking you know this is a disgusting scene but that cake looks delicious that is one of the most beautiful looking movie cakes I have ever seen I would do anything to get my hands on it a lot of good food shots in this movie actually there's a scene with a dessert cart gets knocked over and this cream pie lands right in front of Matilda with a fork in it perfectly looks absolutely delicious the Cheerios in one scene because this movie does only feature two licensed songs and they're both used perfectly in this movie you got send me on my way Little Itty Bitty Pretty One, which is another fantastic song. I don't know how many times I've gone up to my wife because she loves this movie as well and gone, This 
this movie features two great 90s montages, of course, when she's first learning her powers, and at the very end, with her and Miss Honey, because they end up, spoiler alert, living together at the very end, she becomes her adoptive mother, really sending home that happy ending, because Matilda just did not fit in with her con man parents, and this is really where Rhea Perlman gets to shine a little bit, because, you know, the whole time in this movie, she's just this, you know, this very selfish mother who doesn't give a crap about her kids, but this is the first time in the entire movie where she actually shows some love for Matilda and she does something nice for Matilda. Of course, Danny DeVito, who is also the narrator, points that out. This is probably the only time she's ever done something good for her daughter, and that's by letting her go and getting raised by Miss Honey. You're the only daughter I ever had, Matilda. And I never understood you, not one little bit. And I absolutely love that ending. This movie does have a bunch of very heartwarming scenes in it. And, I mean, if you're a kid of the 90s, you just absolutely love this movie. I don't know how people would feel coming to it in 2023 if you haven't seen the film. It might feel, like, uh, a little bit cheesy, because it is. It's definitely a cheesy movie. The acting from some of the child actors isn't great. I mean, it's shot beautifully. Danny DeVito using a lot of Dutch angles in a bunch of scenes. A lot of close-ups on faces, which can actually be a little bit gross, but it's really sending that home. And Danny DeVito definitely loves to do that with a lot of his movies. And it's funny, because they kind of carry that over to Always Sunny in Philadelphia with a a lot of Frank Reynolds stuff just really driving home that grossness and I don't know if that was like Danny DeVito contributing to making Always Sunny in Philadelphia but it just feels like that when you watch this movie and you see all the close-ups on everybody's face like whether it be on the Trunchable or on that kid's face when he's eating the cake like all that stuff feels like something that Danny DeVito came up with and it's funny that you can kind of see aspects of that on Always Sunny in Philadelphia but if you're watching this movie for the first time now you might be like this is just a kids movie and it pretty much is it really is a kids fantasy film but it's really funny I mean there's so many quotable lines in this movie that I still quote to this very day like when the Rhea Perlman turns around after his hair gets dyed blonde here we are my heartstrings <laughs> absolutely hysterical when the kid gets the carrot in his mouth and he starts coughing and you hear Danny DeVito from the other room <coughs> chew your food you're an animal I mean I crack up every single time I just know that the nostalgia goggles are on for me with this one just because like I said I grew up with this movie and when I was re-watching it, it all just comes flooding back all those emotions from my childhood and watching it now and realizing you know what life isn't as fun as it was when I was a kid really does help to make this movie feel very special, to me at least, to this very day. And if you haven't seen it, I could definitely say, why don't you check it out, give it a shot, you might enjoy it, but understand that it's probably a film of a certain age, of a certain time, that might not work for everybody. But this 4K Blu-ray that we're going to be talking about might just work for everybody. So if you are a fan of 4K Blu-ray reviews, movie reviews, lists and podcasts and shorts, nothing would help this channel out more than by you just simply liking this video. And subscribing to the channel. Well, here it is. Matilda on 4K Blu-ray Steelbook from Sony Pictures. Right now, you can only get this in 4K Steelbook. There is no slipcover edition, no standard edition. That might come down the line. Unfortunately, that seems to be the practices of a lot of companies nowadays. Whether you get the Steelbook version first or the standard edition first. We just saw this actually with Evil Dead Rises getting announced for an October 3rd. 4K Steelbook release just about six months after the regular standard edition Blu-ray release came out. So that's always very disappointing. You don't give all the options up front. But this 4K Steelbook from Matilda is absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I always felt like the old Blu-ray art or even the old DVD and VHS art was just very, uh, I don't know, it looked very plain. I wasn't a big fan of the original movie poster. I get what they were going for, but it just looked very 90s generic, if that makes sense. So you get a little bit more artwork here. It's kind of like an enhanced version of that. So if you were to wrap it around, it does absolutely look beautiful. You come inside, you get a 4K Blu-ray and a Blu-ray with individual disc design, which I will always champion. I think that is awesome artwork on the inside as well. That Blu-ray is the previous 2013 Blu-ray, so it's a 10-year-old Blu-ray at this point. That was to celebrate at its time. I guess what was that? That was for its 17th anniversary, and that features pretty much all of your extras. The only extras that are on the 4K Blu-ray are a commentary track and a trailer. So the Blu-ray is going to feature all the extras so you get no new extras on here at all but it's still pretty cool the commentary track though is Danny DeVito and that is absolutely awesome if you're a fan of Danny DeVito like 
I am. You were just going to eat that up. On the Blu-ray, where you do get all the extras, they get a nice reunion together, which I just, I mean, I was sitting there getting choked up. I was just bringing back all that nostalgia. Danny DeVito even grew back out his mustache from the movie for this reunion. You know, you get everybody there. You get to see them all out of character. You get to see all the kids all grown up. I mean, I just, I, I loved it. I love that reunion. I'm really glad that they filmed that. They filmed it for the Blu-ray. It's funny because Danny DeVito's talking about how they just restored the Blu-ray to HD. So he was all excited about that. I thought it was awesome. I just absolutely, I loved it. I really think that's an awesome extra. But you got plenty of other extras that definitely came over from the previous DVD release. You know, they have like little making of featurettes talking about the special effects, which I absolutely loved. You know, I'm a big fan of practical effects. I'm always knocking modern day CGI. But looking at what they had to do with practical effects back in the day, you know, when the girl gets thrown over the fence by her pigtails and, you know, it's fake pigtails. That's how they did it. And she was really flying around. The kid's not scared either. That's the thing about kids and I just absolutely love that they're like oh the code word is jelly beans if you're too scared like she's literally getting thrown around in the air being hung up by wires I just love that that's a great feature I mean definitely a lot of good extras in here I really enjoyed them I obviously getting nothing new might be a little bit disappointing I usually complain about that but I did love all the extras on that blu-ray and since I didn't own that previous blu-ray I was definitely very happy to check them out I went through every single one just smiling the entire time but we're also here to talk about the visual and audio quality and you do get a big boost from that 2013 blu-ray so it's been 10 years and it's a noticeable upgrade to 4k and they were proud of this blu-ray and I look back on some previous Previous reviews including on blu-ray.com and they were pretty high up on that previous blu-ray but this 4k just blows that out of the water I mean the blu-ray I could see what they were going for like they definitely were trying to hit some deep blacks but when you were doing that with old blu-ray technology and not having HDR unfortunately that kind of does make the skin tones look a little off because you're darkening the picture to try and hit the deep blacks and not have that gray look to it but you're also turning down the color on the skin tones and the skin tones now might look a little bit muddy a little bit waxy a little bit unnatural Natural, and that's where HDR comes in. And on this 4K, you're getting HDR and Dolby Vision. Um, I thought they were very comparable. I thought the Dolby Vision did look a little bit better than when I watched the regular HDR 10 on my LG C1. Usually, they're very comparable. Sometimes, the HDR actually does look a little bit better than Dolby Vision, but I thought the Dolby Vision actually did a little bit better work. Saying that this 4K looked beautiful would just be an understatement. It is an absolutely gorgeous 4K from a visual standpoint. Almost a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's so Sony does put out some of the best looking 4Ks from any major studio. Very limited amount of film grain. Enough there that it makes it look just crisp and clear everything looks natural looks like it was filmed yesterday my wife who doesn't really care about 4ks she turned over to me and she's like wow this looks absolutely beautiful and i said yeah it looks like it was filmed yesterday right i mean it's such a big improvement over that previous blu-ray that i just absolutely loved it i mean i can't even tell you how good the outdoor scenes looked it literally looks like you could step into your screen if you're watching this on an oled you could just step in your screen and be there in that world in 1996 i, I mean i, I can't say all these visuals short absolutely beautiful and then the audio track the previous edition of dts hd 5.1 now you're getting a brand new dolby atmos track compatible with a dolby 7.1 track as well but that dolby atmos track is awesome i mean you, like i said you get two licensed tracks in this movie the score is great the dialogue all comes in crisp and clear you set your volume whatever you want to set it at and it all comes in amazing i mean at the very end of this movie there's a scene where danny devito rhea perlman and the son they go to pick up matilda at miss honey's house you hear sirens in the background and because it was making such good use of all the speakers and it's adobe atmos track i thought there were sirens outside i actually forgot that there were sirens in the movie so i was a little thrown off by it until danny devito says shut up I, I, I can't think with all these sirens. And he's just like all getting all thrown off. And I was like, oh, okay, good. The sirens are in the movie. That's what that noise is. But you wouldn't have known it. You would have thought it was coming from the outside. That's how well mixed this Dolby Atmos track is. So they really sprung for all the bells and whistles. I wouldn't have expected anything less from Sony. So it could be a little bit pricey. I think it's going for about 30 bucks right now, which might be a little bit pricey. And especially since it's only in the Steelbook version. So they're always going to charge a little bit more for the Steelbook. But it is a two disc set. It's not one disc. So you do get the previous Blu-ray and you get the brand new 4K. And that 4K really does did just spring for all the bells and whistles you get everything you could ever hope for plenty of extras it's really really high quality if i was going to rate this entire 4k on a score of 1 to 10 i would give it a pretty solid 9.5 out of 10 
definitely one of the best visual and audio transfers. And this is one that I don't think people really have on their radar. You know, it's really like a film from a certain generation from the 1990s. If you were a kid in the 90s, you loved this film. I don't know how many people who were adults in the 1990s already in 1996 care about this movie and they might not be running to it. So I thought it was a really cool catalog title to even get to begin with from Sony. So I was just absolutely blown away that we were getting it. And the fact that it's an amazing transfer just really sells this for me and I'm definitely happy with it. One of my favorite 4K Blu-rays of the year. I was so happy with it. I had so much fun re-watching this movie and just going down memory lane for a little while. And if you're a fan of this movie, you're going to be absolutely happy to have this 4K Blu-ray in your collection. And if you guys like these 4K Blu-ray reviews, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, get out in those streets, and tell your friends about us. And we'll be seeing you around. Yeah.